therapy for femoral necrosis. Everyone wants to have a pair of graceful, strong and robust legs. Life for some people, however, is not fair at all. 35-year-old Jin Ze sprained his waist in an accident. He never thought his injury was so serious that two years later he was paralyzed by a disease known as femoral necrosis. Every year, a lot of people fall victim to the tragic disease. These people live in great agony. They are looking forward to the day of a full recovery. Femur or thigh bone is at the joint of the pelvis and the legs. The thigh bone is commonly known as the hip bone axel. The thigh bone together with the hip joint forms the coxa. The prime causes of femoral necrosis include certain pathogenic factors which are blamed for structural deformation of the femur. The deformation creates an obstruction to the microcirculation inside the bone and causes a lack of blood. Consequently, the hip bone loses its mechanical bearing capability and is disabled. In recent years, the incidence of femoral necrosis caused by the overdose of hormonic medicines has increased sharply. The number of femoral necrosis patients has surpassed 10 million. Clinical observation shows that once the femur develops a necrosis, the disease keeps getting worse. What comes inevitably next is the surface subsidence and deformation of the thigh bone. The disease will be tough for a cure. The rapidly increasing incidence of femoral necrosis has aroused great concern in medical circles worldwide. There have been a wide variety of therapies in application both in China and abroad. Traditionally, doctors first drill a hole on the patient's thigh bone so as to reduce the internal pressure. Then they would transplant bone fragments or blood vessels to curb femoral necrosis. However, the result of such operations have not been satisfactory and they are very painful for the patient. Femoral necrosis has become one of the biggest challenges facing the world's medical researchers. However, a breakthrough made by one Chinese doctor has brought rays of hope for thousands of patients. Dr. Huang Keqin is a well-known specialist of orthopedics and the director of the Longshan Hospital of Traditional Chinese Medicine in Jilin City of Northeast China's Jilin Province. After over a decade of research work, Dr. Huang has developed a brand new therapy for curing femoral necrosis. The therapy features initial stage diagnosis, freeing patients from the pains of an operation.
treating, it is very difficult to diagnose femoral necrosis in its early stages. In his decades of clinical practice, Dr. Huang discovered that a plain black and white brontogenograph carries much more information than people thought. Though the human eye can recognize only some 20 different shades of black and white, it is sensitive to several hundred and even a thousand shades of other colors. The discovery inspired Dr. Huang Tuqin. Later, with the help of computer specialists, he developed an X-ray computer color pattern recognition technology. The computer, by making digital pattern recognition, turns the black and white rontogenograph into a standard color picture. An analysis can be made according to the clarity, brightness, and the numerical values shown on the screen. This computer diagnose system has made possible the discovery of the potential slight focus of femoral necrosis. This technology has helped move up the diagnosis of the patient's condition 9 to 12 months and also provided a scientific basis for early treatment. According to the different clinical symptoms shown in patients, Dr. Huang divides his patients into five types. They consist of total necrosis, focus necrosis, subsided necrosis, irregular necrosis, and stiffened necrosis. Based on the theories of traditional Chinese medicine, Dr. Huang has developed a set of unique, effective therapies to treat femoral necrosis. electric waves as infrared radiation heat, mid-frequency overlap, and electric pulse. These electric waves can produce simulated stress signals inside the bone. The signals modify the electric properties and electrochemical conditions of the bone cell and thus activate the fiber cell, improve the functions of the cell, and invigorate blood circulation. Therefore, the device can help activate the damaged bone cells and accelerate the restoration and the re-establishment of the bone tissue. It becomes extremely active. It immediately penetrates the skin and the bone tissue. are chosen for the second week of treatment. The primary point this time is Pi Guan. The secondary points are Chongyang and Liangqiu. For the third week, the primary point is Yinlian, and the secondary points are Xue Hai and San Yinzhou. The primary point for the fourth week is Cheng Fu, while Wei Zhong and Quinlun are the secondary points. During the fifth week of treatment, the primary acupoint is at the number five sacrum joint, while the secondary points are Heyang and Changjin. After the initial treatment period, which is often five weeks, is completed, begin the second treatment period, 
and repeat exactly what we did in the first five weeks. Let's see how the therapy worked with this patient. Now he still needs the help of one crutch. After three months of treatment, x-ray check and a computer analysis show that new tissue has appeared in the area of necrosis. New blood vessels are found with the damaged bone cells removed. At the same time, the load-bearing trabecula and the tensile trabecula have also emerged. Now the patient's hip joint has shown obvious signs of improvement. He doesn't need any crutches at all. This one helps relax the thigh bone. rebuild the back fringe of the hip joint by constantly stimulating it with pressure. The exercise of sitting cross-legged and pressing knees can help relax the muscles, restore the functions of the hip joints, and accelerate the growth of new bones. Another exercise is designed to remove the muscular cramps around the hip joint and correct the patient's way of walking. This exercise helps smoothen the joints, prevent stiffness, and rebuild the femur. Finally, if a patient can do successfully this exercise of squat to collapse knees, it means his thigh bone joints have begun to function normally. Dr. Huang Kuchin's unique method to treat femoral necrosis has proved to be very effective. What's more, it saves patients a painful operation and in some cases a lifelong deformation. You might still remember Mr. Jin, our farmer friend. After three rounds of treatment, he can now walk without the help of crutches. And he can even help with some chores in the field. Dr. Huang Keqin's success in treating femoral necrosis has aroused great attention among the international medical circles. In 1993, Dr. Huang's femoral necrosis treatment device and his computer pattern recognition device won two top prizes at the annual international invention and patent exhibition held in Singapore. Later, he won two more gold prizes at another exhibition held in Washington, the United States. The series of Chinese medicines developed by Dr. Huang has been tested and proved to be effective in improving the density and weight of the bone, cleaning the fat tissue in bone cells, invigorating microcirculation within the femur, and restoring damaged bone cells. Dr. Huang Kuchin has made it his duty to help patients suffering from femoral necrosis. 